Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make knowledge free campaign we go about looking at how we can use video editing softwares to combine clips I believe that most video editing softwares will allow this because this is a very minor feature you know what happens is say I take my camera so I have a mobile on my camera I mean I have a camera on a mobile which is pretty common I take a clip I take another clip I take another clip uh, what happens is uh, maybe the clips are of say some birds or something I take a clip of a eagle then say a duck then say a sparrow This are on different days of the week and I decide that I want to combine all of the clips Now this is very easily possible there are softwares which are made for combining splitting and doing other stuff uh, but if your primary intention is to join clips and if you have been wondering on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to combine clips, maybe this tutorial will help because I plan to show exactly that. In my earlier tutorials, we have already gone and looked at how we can import media files, what is the timeline, how you can drag files onto your timeline. Let's go and see today how we can combine clips to have a combined video. So first and foremost, presuming that you have the video editing software loaded and installed, go ahead and launch it. So here I am launching my Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it need not be Premiere Pro because it's pretty pricey. I rather believe that there's uh, better, simpler options out there. But if you are like me and you want to have hands-on experience on the most advanced video editing software used for movies and stuff, yeah, this one fits the bill perfectly uh, here you can see like we can open up a new project or we can like you know uh, open up something which we have been working on of late so that's why it's called a recent project so I was working on this um, cooking project like I had recorded my mom cooking certain dishes but in separate clips so let's try and join them that should help us practically understand what we are about to do today so this is one project which we had been working upon uh, presently I have like deleted everything inside this all media files and everything so that I can just show it uh, without skipping any steps so like I explained this is the primary screen this is what is called your workspace so this space allows you to work when it allows you to work it may be to do with editing to do with assembly to do with colors to do with applying effects maybe video effects maybe audio effects so today's thing is maybe it's not a video effect as such it's just about combining clips so let's first bring the clips into perspective because if you don't have clips how do you join those clips so you need the clips right so you need to import media now here it's written import media now obviously you need media in the first place the clips in the first place just double click on this you need to locate where on your system the clips are located so like in your room you know your father is perhaps in the garden you go and call him like that where in the system are your clips located it's in my d drive and it's called a folder which is nikon because i captured it using nikon camera and like i captured several footages of my mom and one of which was this one now let me select all of this and click on open and there you go all of them have neatly now traveled onto my media bin now this media bin can not only be used for say video files even audio tracks dump all of the stuff that you want to be playing with here once you do that what happens next is you need to arrange them into the timeline now we have seen our earlier tutorial what the timeline is the timeline is basically for your selected uh, project that you are about to do what all clips and etc you want to be a part of the final footage that figures so in sequence if i am to see 250 is to come first so this is the first track which needs to come so let, let's see how we do this i just take it you see as soon as i click on it i mean this is the left click i click on it and press it you can see this finger thing comes and I drag it here so the first clip has been dragged and you can see it's neatly labeled V1 that's video 1 I just zoom this by just clicking here and just dragging it out so this zooms ah, I think all the files got selected 
just to first remove this so that I can show it to you in a neat way. So I just zoomed out so that you know we can show all of them together. So this was the first thing which we put 250. Let's bring the 252 also in perspective. So this is my second clip, and let's do with the third clip also. That is 253. So there you go, 253 has also been put there. Now you can see like uh, this 250 plus 252 plus 253, they will all add up like this is 9 minutes, this is 5 minutes, this is 2 minutes. So this will all add up to 17 minutes of sequence. A movie sequence which is like 17 minutes in length. Now why did I drag it and paste the second movie right where the first movie ends? Because I wanted them to be right one after the next. Now when you see this A1, this is just nothing but the audio track for the first video. A2 is nothing but the audio track for the second video. A3 is nothing but the audio track for the third video. Please understand that I am not presently going and applying effects or other stuff. I am not applying say a filter or other things. No, I am not doing that. I could have very well selected this and applied say maybe a different kind of filter or something. Well, I'm not doing that because the intention of this tutorial is not to demonstrate on the various features of the video editing program as such. What I'm simply trying to show here is how, how you can simply combine clips. Now, for combining clips, it's pretty important that you just place in proper perspective the clips on the timeline and ensure that uh, the clips are right after the next. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this. What happens then in the timeline is as soon as this clip, the first primary clip ends, the next clip will start somewhere from say like this clip starts from zero and this second clip like before the first clip ends is placed somewhere in the middle so that does you don't want that to happen in the timeline because the first clip when it ends then you want the second clip to start and that's why you place it right after the next clip could have very well done this but this then doesn't let you a very proper advanced view so i put it on the top and then when the second clip ends that's why i put the third clip i don't do it something like this no I put it after it so that you know this is how you join them once we have done this and I've read okay this is enough I just want to do a simple joining of clips what is the next thing that you do which is more important than all of this <laughs> I mean this is equally important but now you want to uh, produce this combined video footage so for that what you need to do is export this and you go to file you click on export and since this is the media file that you are creating click on media and um, well i mean you can see where it will get located it is on my d adobe premiere pro it may ask you for the path when you do this for the first time i prefer like 24p it's my favorite uh, way of rendering files uh, i want the name to be not this one but something like a project and uh, maybe something which helps me know and I click on save so now when it gets saved it will have this name to it and you can also I mean you can see that we didn't apply any of this uh, like filters so just drag that off you want to have the maximum render quality and once you have done all this um, you could obviously also select the different types of uh, video outputs but I prefer AVI and you can then click on export what then happens is uh, all of this start getting combined so now what happens is like um, if i actually go to that because i can show it to you exactly right now it takes quite uh, i mean in this particular case it will take a lot of time because it's pretty heavy file i can maybe just show you um, i think that is where it's going Adopt Premiere Pro CC here. Yeah. So here you see the file will later, like when it gets done, it will be here. Presently it's just 120 MB, but it's getting rendered. So this is uh, like a simple way of uh, rendering files. I'll just cancel this right now because I just wanted to do all this for the purposes of demonstration. 
So I just hope that this tutorial puts some perspective on how you can join video clips using the Adobe Premiere Pro. There's nothing much to it. Just get your hands dirty with maybe a few projects, maybe a few footages. Just join them, cut them, split them, do various things, play with the software. And all of a sudden you will start realizing that you already mastered the stuff. Thank you so much guys. I just hope that today's tutorial helps you understand on how you can combine clips using the Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, not to say that this is the only stuff you can do because this is not even a feature I would call But many people just want to do this and so I just thought maybe I will show this. Thank you so much guys. Until next time. Goodbye. God bless.